Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making another pony custom. I have Princess Celestia here and we're going to transform her into her mother, Queen Galaxia. I'm actually not sure if Queen Galaxia is really Celestia's mother or if she is a fan fiction character. But I googled her and I found a few images and she looks amazing. Queen Galaxia is a beautiful cream colored alicorn with purple and orange mane and tail. So whether or not she is truly Celestia's and Luna's mother, let's go ahead and make her custom. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off the mane and tail. So here goes the mane, we're going to snip it off and then trim it down as close as possible to the scalp. And here goes the tail. Next, we're going to spread her wings out a bit more. The wings on the pony is currently very narrow. So we're going to soften the plastic with a heat gun, spread the wings wider, and let it cool down. For this pony, I'm going to recreate her mane and tail using epoxy resin. I've done a few of these customs before and they look really amazing with resin for the mane and tail. If you have not checked out these videos, make sure to do so after this one. I think Queen Galaxia will look really good in resin because of the orange and purple gradient in her mane and tail. This time, we're going to make the mane and tail in separate pieces. Previously, I made a single mold for the mane and tail. And even though it turned out really pretty, I think we can make some improvements. So I've gone ahead and created the tail in four separate pieces in clay. We will cast them each separately in resin and put them back together again afterwards. Once it's done, we'll attach it to the back of the pony and it will look something like this. When taken apart, the pieces can be laid down flat. So the flat part is the top of the mold and the rounder side is on the bottom. In addition, we're going to pull it out of the mold when it's half cured. If we time it just right, the resin will be hard enough to handle, but also soft enough to shape and put it together. For the mane, here are the different pieces that I created. So I created three long strands here on the right side, and then one long strand on the left side. So then the left side would go kind of like this, and then here's the front bangs. Not sure if this would actually fit very well, but I'm going to give it a try. So it's a little bit tricky because um, we don't want to press it too hard right now since we're not putting it onto the pony. And let's go ahead and make our mold. I'm going to be using Composing Mold. This is a reusable mold that you can melt and remelt again and again to cast objects. I've used this many times already, so it's really handy to have when you're just looking to make an object once. I've laid down all the clay pieces on a little tray, and after melting the composing mold, we're going to pour it over the clay. Since this is a little thick, it will take a few hours to harden. Alright, so our mold has set. Here's the bottom, so now we need to take it out. So just to remember, these are for the tail. And what's nice is that this clay is still soft, so we can reuse it. There we go, it's looking really good. So now we can mix our resin and pour it in. Here we're mixing the resin and then coloring it with dark orange and purple. We'll also add a bit of glitter to make it nice and sparkly. Then we're going to pour the resin into our mold. We want the top of the hair to be orange and bottom to be purple. So we need to make sure we're pouring the resin in the right places. I'm alternating the colors as I pour so that the mixing of the colors is more organic. As you can see here, pouring the resin on the flat mold is much easier than doing it in the large 3D mold. Now 
Now we're going to let it cure for about 10 hours. While we wait, let's go ahead and paint our pony. We're going to start by taking off the cutie mark and the paint on the hooves with some acetone. Then we're going to paint the entire pony a cream color. Next, we'll take dark orange and paint the bottom of each leg, and then with a bit of the cream, we're going to dab and blend the colors so that it looks like there is a gradient going from cream to dark orange down the legs. This takes a bit of patience because it's hard maneuvering the paintbrush around the legs. Once the legs are done, we'll give her dark purple shoes. For the wings, we're going to give it the same treatment as the legs, adding some orange and then blending it with the cream. Next, we'll paint the eyes a light orange color. Alright everyone, so here is the pony so far. I think she looks really beautiful. Just look at her. So right now she has a coat of Mod Podge on to keep her shine and also to help seal the paint. And now let's check on the mane and tail. So it's been about 10 hours and I think we are ready to take these pieces out and hopefully they're still flexible enough. So here is flexible. Okay, so now let's take each of these pieces out. The pieces here are not shiny because the mold is not shiny. So that means we'll have to glaze it again with more resin once we're done. For the tail, I'm going to put the pieces together like this. Bend it into place. Make sure it fits. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Once it's cured, and we're gonna let it sit so it fully cures. And then let's put together the mane. Here I'm attaching the different pieces for the mane. Now we'll let it sit for another 10 hours. And here's the pony so far. Oh my gosh, she is looking so good. So I've gone ahead and filled in the gaps between the hair with some orange colored UV resin. This helps glue the resin to the pony and also covers up the empty spots on the scalp. 
and I'm using UV resin because it cures very fast under a UV lamp. One last thing we need to do is glaze the rest of the resin hair so that it's nice and shiny. Again, I'm going to be using UV resin so that we can cure it right away under the lamp. We're just going to squirt some right here on the hair and then spread it out using silicone tipped brush. All right, everyone, and we are done. Oh my goodness, take a look at her. I am so happy with the way she turned out. She looks so amazing. Just take a look at that shiny hair. And the resin did such a good job doing the orange and purple gradient. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. So let's take a closer look. So her body is cream, but she has orange colored legs and purple shoes on. Her wings are also orange, going from a dark orange to cream colored. And her hair, oh my goodness, I really loved the way it turned out. Just take a look at that. The dark purple going up to the dark orange. It is so nice. And what I love about it is that there is a bit of a sparkle there from the glitter. And it's also kind of translucent. It is so, so shiny. And I love that it's in different pieces so that you can see a little bit of movement here in the hair. And here is the tail. So the tail is nice and big. And actually we have a very long strand here that goes down to the bottom. It looks so nice. Here she is. Oh my goodness. And just to compare, we do have Princess Celestia here. So I made her previously. And again, we made her out of larger pieces of resin. So her hair is kind of a one big piece here, one big piece up here, and her tail is one large slab. In addition, we also have Twilight Sparkle or Princess Twilight Sparkle here. I think this is one of their first uh, ponies that I made with resin. This one didn't come out that great because um, I had a hard time filling in the resin. It was pretty bumpy. But from a distance, she looks great. I love the way her wings are spread. But it was actually kind of hard to display her because her wings were just so big. And I also have Princess Luna somewhere, but um, I think I put her away. So I don't have her here to display. However, you can go ahead and check out the videos for the other three ponies. And let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think of Princess Celestia's mom, Queen Galaxia? If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!